why would it be removed? And there's no shadow. See? That's, del that's clearly deliberate. Today's video is sponsored by Driftless Leather, USA made hand tooled leather goods. If you're in the market for a customized leather strap, belt, hat, or pit guard, talk to Dustin at Driftless Leather. He'll work with you on a personalized design and give you the kind of bespoke style no one else has. You can find him on Facebook and Instagram. And remember, when you support my sponsor, you support this channel, and I sure appreciate it. Hey, how's it going, dudes? Brad the Guitologist here. Found an Amazon Prime package on my front doorstep and as you can see this thing's wet it's been raining hopefully the contents are not wet so let's check it out this is the new version of tools fear inoculum with the expanded book this is the expanded book edition with five 3d lenticular cards with exclusive graphics Expanded 56 page booklet with additional art access card to download the groundbreaking video. Okay, so this is you can download the video that's included in the previous version of this. Uh, I will put a link down in the description if you want to see the review that I did for the previous version of um, Fear Inoculum. That's the initial version that they released. Uh, again, this is the expanded book edition. I'm curious whether or not this edition will answer some of the questions that I had about the previous edition. Namely, why were there some holes, some mysterious holes in some of the pages of the book? That's the main thing. Also, there was some artwork in the other one that it just looked like it probably fit together somehow with something else. And I never could really figure out what it was supposed to go to. Uh, so I'm curious if this will maybe answer some of those questions. So let's check it out. I was kind of kicking myself uh, for not getting about four or five of the last version because they skyrocketed in price pretty much immediately because they didn't, you know, it, they were truly limited. Sometimes this stuff is not really as limited as they say, like the uh, Lateralis lim supposedly limited edition vinyl. You can still get those, um, so it's not. I don't don't really consider that that limited edition if you can still get them. But that Fear Inoculum, that first CD, man, it sold out quick, and uh, yeah, the prices on those really skyrocketed immediately. But yeah, this should be interesting. I'm kind of curious as to what we get here. Of course, we've got the download. I'm gonna I'm gonna use this code before you guys get to, so I guess it wouldn't hurt for you to see it. Uh, the CD is exactly the same as the other one, by all appearances. Are they calling this one limited edition as well? I guess they are. They're calling this one limited edition? No, just expanded book edition. May, this may not be a limited edition release. This might be the, the way this is going to be released uh, henceforth. So the other one might be the rare one, whereas um, this one might be the one that they end up you know, re-releasing as the... Uh, the album that you're going to generally be able to get. But here we are back to this kind of, uh, I don't know, somebody called it vellum. It's kind of translucent paper. Good high quality paper. It's very similar to the stuff uh, in the other edition, but with less embossing or no embossing really. So it's not quite as finely made as the other one, but still nice. This is a piece of artwork that was not included in the other edition. We have uh, an eye there in the center with a geometric pattern surrounding it, consisting of squares and circles alternating. Pretty cool. Back to this guy, you can see uh, kind of a neat little trail of eyeballs going up out of his head into the into the whatever. This is a piece of artwork that was included in the other one. We've got lyrics. Once again, it's just weird to see, kind of odd to see lyrics uh, posted in a Tool album at all. I wonder if these figures are the same as in the other one. I will say also, these are not as finely made either. These are not embossed like the other ones. You can definitely tell it's a different edition. Not quite as nice as the other one. Nice still though.
A lot of this artwork is the same stuff that you get in the other edition. That page is different. That's a different page. And interestingly, it has some dots here. And I wonder if those correspond with some of the dots from the other edition that I was thinking about. Okay, so here's the original version. And as you can see, the, the new book edition is larger. Okay, so in the booklet. And again, this booklet on this one is just very embossed, very nice, nicely made. Um, this, these vellum pages had these lines that were going out to the edges on, on this version. And did this one have that? No lines on this one. All right, they're fucking with us again. No lines, though. Look, Danny Carey's has no lines. Going to the edge of the book. Same number of points in the star, okay? But we've got this line up here that's going to the edge of the book. And then on his portrait, also, there's, look, there's a line here as well. Going down to the edge. That there is no line on the portrait. Look, it doesn't exist. What the hell, dude? That is absolutely not by accident. There's something, something is going on with that. And I was really curious, man. I mean, you can look back at my, my previous one. I was like, man, something is up with these lines. Um, and also... It's kind of confusing because I've got two different things going on here, but hang on. Let me show you what I'm what was really confusing me. Is the these holes in this piece of vellum right here. And some people said they didn't get this page, or this page didn't have the holes, or it was different. Um, so there's different versions of this original release. Some of them apparently had holes according to some reports, and some did not. But this one, the one I have, has these holes. Now what the hell are these for? I have no clue. Just that kind of struck me as familiar with the dots, but I don't think it, yeah, I don't think that has anything to do with anything. I just don't know. And again, the embossing on this is just really finely done. Uh, and you don't have the same embossing on the vellum inside of this booklet. It's not it's not the same and you and you don't have those lines going to the edge of the of the book so I'm wondering if there's if there are other uh, differences in the painting itself well I can tell you that this this is a much more vivid portrait than the original one the original ones printed on a matte kind of a matte piece of paper on this portrait and this portraits a little glossier and it's a little clearer just it's a nicer print if so if you uh, see what I mean this one's a bit cloudier whereas that one has more vivid colors I don't really see any other differences other than that though other than that line going downward and look there's a shadow and everything of that line going downward so it's part of the painting but why would it be removed in this this one I don't get it why would it be removed and there's no shadow see that's still that's clearly deliberate why and it has to be photoshopped actually it has to be photoshopped on onto there because it the size is different the size of the overlapping uh star is is a different size i mean look at the size of his head by comparison to the star here you see right here it's Pa the the it's passing through his bow tie and right there it misses his bow tie so it's a different different star see there's a line clearly on that one no line on this one why and look the size of it is also different the uh, the size of the actual stars are just about the same I don't I don't understand why they would do that unless unless they're just screwing with people. You know, they've been known to just mess with people with with people's heads. But again, this is a much finer printing uh over here on this vellum at least. That's more of an embossed thing. That's actual like 
almost like gold leaf embossing or something. That whereas this one is is more of a matte, uh, you know, ink printing. So it's just a different. You can see the quality. See the reflection on that as opposed to that. So it's a different quality. Um, but again, just different also in terms of not having that line. So that's weird. Um, Let's we'll see what else is different here, or what other kind of different pieces of art we get. I think we, we've seen that one already. I think that's a new piece. That one's that one's kind of cool. I like the way it, this one's actually kind of rough. There's some roughness to this printing on this. But that's that's really trippy. That's a cool. I like the colors in that. We've seen this. That's a different variation on that. Yeah, again, these are these are thinner sheets, a different quality of paper uh, than the opposing sheet, and it's translucent, so you can look, you can see through it. And again, this one's translucent too. So you can see my finger through it. See my finger? <laughs> see, and I wonder, I wonder if I wonder if these are supposed to be used somehow. Yeah, I mean these are just these are completely translucent. When you hold them up to the light, you can see through this paper. So I, I'm just wondering if you're supposed to be able to do something with these sheets So there's number one. Here's number two. I'm just kind of looking through the camera viewfinder and uh, yeah, it definitely looks better in person than on the viewfinder. I'm not sure how it's going to come across in the video, but it looks this these look better in person because they have a more of a 3D quality than what I'm seeing on the viewfinder. But still, I will say I, I would have expected a little bit more movement, you know, um, to this. The movement is just kind of subtle. And it's like his head kind of moves just a little bit, and that's about it. Background. The background kind of moves, I guess, but nothing major. But yeah, it's a, um, it definitely looks more 3D in person. It just does. Um, like the center of this is more blurry, so it looks like it's, it's in a distance, like you can go in, you know, like you could go into it. Um, the stuff that's supposed to be closer to you is a little more in focus. So it just has a 3D, overall 3D quality to it. Yeah, some of the, these are uh, these are stills from the uh, from the video that came with the first version. And again, just very subtle movement with these. I'm just as puzzled really now as when I when I opened this original version the first time. I still don't really know 
what those holes are for. So it hasn't solved that mystery. I don't know. What do you guys think? Tell me down in the description, what do you guys think about this? Is this, uh, I mean, this version of the, of the CD was definitely cheaper than this one. Uh, of course, it doesn't have the movie, but you can download the movie, so that's kind of even better because you could put it, you don't have to watch it on this. You can watch it on your TV with, if you buy this version. So uh, between the two versions, which one would I rather have? I'd, I don't know. They're both, I guess, kind of cool in their own way. But this, I think I would rather have this one just because you could download the uh, video, whereas on this one you can't download the video. So the the only download you get is the uh, is the video with this new version. You get a you get a download code for the video. With this one, you get an MP3 download. Um, but yeah, you know, clearly the lenticular stuff is uh, is paying homage to uh, the Enema album, which came out in 1996. And as you can see here, there's just you know a lot more obvious movement. Uh, with this smoke box and the eyeballs and everything. And, and of course, if you go through the Enema album, or Anima, some people call it, but I've, I've heard him actually pronounce it Enema live on stage, so uh, I think I'm correct. <laughs> Everybody tries to correct me on that, but it, I think I'm actually correct on that, because, like I said, I've seen him live about seven times, and uh, I think all the times I've seen him, he said, Enema, but I don't know. Maybe I just misheard him. But yeah, you can see that the you know obviously the movements on these lenticular pieces of art are much more pronounced than the ones that we got with this current uh, album. Um, but it's just interesting, you know, to watch the progression of the packaging and everything with Tool albums. Of course, we always get something different, something cool. But it's just interesting, you know, watching the progression of all these Tool albums and all the interesting things that um, they've tried to do over the years. You know, this one had the, of course, had the uh, stereoscopic viewfinder where you could put this up to your eyes and you look through here and you get these two images. And because it's two different images, your brain combines them in a 3D way. Uh, so that was obviously very cool package. I think they won an award for this packaging. But... Uh, just cool stuff, man. Uh, you know, and again, as far as this album is concerned, uh, maybe I'm missing something, but I just don't get it. I don't get why the holes, uh, why why the lines on this booklet and no lines on this booklet. Just a weird thing. Comment down below. Tell me what you guys think about the lines, about the holes. Is this just a red herring? Are they just fucking with us? What's going on with this? Let me know down below. 